Hi everyone and welcome back along to my channel. Uh, summer has finally arrived in the UK now. Um, my last few videos were just in wind and rain and generally pretty horrible. But today we have bright blue skies and shun sunshine, which I don't always favour. I do like the bad weather admittedly, but um, we'll see what we can get today and uh, see how it goes. Now I did have another plan for today's video which was going to be comparing some uh, FOMA 100 which is uh, I use a lot with some Delta 100 which I occasionally use. Um, unfortunately the delivery for the Delta didn't come through so I'm hoping that will be next week's video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And uh, so today I've decided to just stick with, with one subject and that's going to be this tree. Now one of the things I love about uh, pinhole photography is the um, constraints, the I suppose the lack of adjustments that you can do. You've got a fixed aperture, generally you've got a fixed focal length. There's not a lot of adjustments in camera you can do, so you've got to be more creative for your in your compositions and you're, you're getting them different sort of shots. So that's one of the things that I really like about pinhole photography, but I could do probably an entire video just covering that. So today I'm going to push myself a bit more and try and get six, six unique photos of one subject. Normally when I'm out and about I'll kind of jump here, there and everywhere, maybe get two of the same. But um, So yeah, it's going to be an interesting one, hopefully they come out all well. Um, well yeah, we'll find out, so uh, we'll crack on. So I've, um, I've got my first shot set up for the morning. I've uh, gone for a super wide on this one, so it's just the 25mm. Um, so doing this will get, it'll kind of isolate the tree. So it'll kind of not show a lot else around it. Hopefully it'll just be the, the tree in the skyline, which would be quite nice. Uh, I've got about four and a half, five second exposure on it. Um, yeah, so I've um, got the sun over here. I don't really want to get the shadow going super wide. You quite often will get the shadow of the camera in the picture, so which I don't really want to get today. So yeah, we'll shoot it, see it comes out. So I've got my second shot set up. I've put the camera in portrait for that, so it's going to be wide enough to get a nice big dominant tree trunk there, and then follow the branch off out over to that. Um, I'm just trying to get the exposure right at the moment, so it's given me about a 14 second, but that's to try and get some of the shadow detail out in the tree up there. But 
because I've got the sun on here at the moment, which I kind of want to bring out that texture. I'm trying to get it so I don't overblow it, but being super wide, it's gonna have a bit of a vignette around here anyway, so that might be dark enough to not get so much light on the film on this part, I'm hoping, um, for at least for that part of the tree, and then it's got the shadows to balance it back out. That's my um, theory anyway, whether it works or not, we'll find out in a bit. So I've got my third shot set up. I've switched up to the 50 mil this time. Um, and I'm hoping to kind of get the tree on the right half of the image, just the base of the tree. It will obviously have some of this lower half in and then just all the branches and leaves reaching out to the left. I've got it quite low down in the grass, so the grass will be quite a dominant thing in the foreground. I've still got some nice light on the tree. Um, I think I've got about 30, 35 second exposure on this one. Um yeah. Again, shoot and see how it goes. My uh, fourth shot, I've still got it in the 50 mil. Again, it's another one looking up, but I've come back further away from the tree, so it's gonna be more concentrating on the branches and stuff. You should, um, you'll obviously still see the tree trunk, but it'll be just obviously a little bit further away. I've got around all this long grass, so hopefully some of that will just surround that image a little bit. Not, I don't want it too much, which is why I've not gone on the super wide. Super wide, that's just, such a hugely dominant thing on it so i'm gonna go for another 30 40 second exposure and um yeah just gonna try and make sure everything's central so the tree trunk is central to the bottom of the image and uh yeah we'll shoot it
So I'm on my fifth fifth shot now. I've switched the camera up to the 75mm so the focal length is going to be a bit more cropped in. Um, if you watched my last week's video you'd see I've done a few shots comparing a few different focal lengths. Uh, so I have already shot this but in the 25mm that was from over there due to the sun's position. So I'm going to try it just from this side now. Being 75mm it's going to be a more even image. Um, I'm hoping that should fill the frame quite nicely but not too much. And uh, I think I've got about a 20 second exposure on it. So when it's up to the 3 I meter for a f-stop of about 220. But because it's now lit nicely by the sun it's going to drop the exposure time down a little bit. So i going to make sure everything's nice and lined up, nice and central to the image. And uh, yeah, again we'll see how it goes. So I've also got my little uh, Yashica D with me today. Uh, I'm testing it out with this little light meter that I picked up from AliExpress. I'll put the link below uh, just to see how accurate it is. I've been using it a little bit with my pinhole photography, but also um, seconding it with uh, an app still. So I'm gonna try a few shots of this. Uh, I won't be putting these photos in the video because I'll be using this probably over the next few weeks to um, in a few different areas and locations. But I'll, uh, I will eventually put them on a blog post, which I'll, I'll link below, so just keep an eye on that. But it's a nice little thing just to keep on the side. But um, how good it is yet, I don't really know, but so far it seems pretty accurate. So I'll do a few shots of this quickly and uh, keep an eye on them in the future. So that's it, I'm all done for the morning. That was uh, six shots, one tree. Hopefully they've all come out okay. Um, if for any reason I've only put four or five shots, then obviously a few of them didn't work out. But I've attempted six shots. Hopefully they're all okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe. Again, as always, I'll put a link below to a blog post on this shoot so you can go check out all the photos and any links on gear I'm using, etc. And uh, yeah. I'll see you next time I'm out. Next week it should hopefully be um, uh, Delta versus Famer Pan 100 uh, if my new film arrives. But um, if not, I'll figure out something out on the way. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.